best idea of an episode uh, oh. ever. Welcome back to 4 Geeks by Geeks, a place where geeks come to geek out. As always, I'm PK. I am Bozer. And today we are doing a very special episode with us wrapping up the end of the year. Uh, and for everybody who's <sighs> been with us since the beginning, um, this is getting close to our one year mark. And we've had a ton of guests come on and off the show. Uh, it's been magical. It's been a really amazing experience. I can't believe that we actually stuck to something for a whole year. That is not our MO. <laughs> but if you have been with us from the beginning, thank you so much. This has been such a magical journey to take with you and with you and with you. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing today is because we've had so many geek guests on the show, we're actually going to test how well we paid attention throughout the year to our guests. So we have each prepared a number of questions based on old episodes and we are going to quiz each other to see how well we actually paid attention. If we get it right, we get a pass and a point, but if we get it wrong, we get a slap <laughs> in the face. Because happy slappy new year to you too. And isn't it just a slap in the face if we don't remember? It so. really is, right to our guests, to you. This is a disgrace. Uh, but while you're here, make sure you hit that like button if you like the video, and make sure you subscribe so that you never miss ridiculous, stupid, geeky content such as this. So without further ado, we're going to get into the game. Uh, would you like to do the honors of going first? <clears throat> oh, you brought yours down. I didn't write mine down. They're all up here. That's going to be a problem later. I don't trust that for some reason. Okay. And I really don't trust myself, so I had to write them down. Okay, are you ready? Yes. I'm going to turn to you so that I can really get that <laughs> torque. Okay, ready? Known for his amazing intros, the guest formerly known as Son Solo introduced himself as what for the My Hero Academia oh, see, Geek Out Sesh? He did this because we talked about it in the parking lot. <laughs> he knew I wouldn't remember. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Lisa. It's, uh, number one hero on my, it's, uh, Five, four, oh, we hound down, oh, three, no, I hate this, uh, two, okay, go one, for it. I don't know it, <laughs> name was, I think you might remember him, Xavier, 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 dude, yes, <sighs> I need you to turn a little bit, oh, man, are you ready, mm -mm. <laughs> this is for you, kids, oh, <laughs> 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 this is the best idea of an episode uh, oh, ever. Okay. All right. It's your turn. Unlike you, I decided to start easy. When we had Cartoon Connect on, yep. we had to guess cartoons based off of uh, terrible descriptions. Yes. You only got one correct. What cartoon did you get? Batman Beyond? Batman Beyond. You got it. Yeah! You got oh, it. Yes. I just, I'm so proud of that. I just kept saying up. Oh. Crying. I just kept saying, trying to think of every like, cartoon that had an old man in <laughs> oh, that, that it. You said old man, and I just couldn't get past it. I was like, uh, but did he really take on his job? Oh, man. I'm way too proud of this moment. Right. Are you crying? <laughs> no. You're a liar. He's crying. Of course I know that one, because I had... A deeply emotional response. Yeah, no. That was actually why I brought it up, because if you want to go back, watch the episode. He had a weird response to it. Uh... So, linking back to the Ghost Pepper Hot Shot, once our geek guest Rosie tasted the Ghost Pepper uh, Hot Sauce. How specific are you going to get with this? Oh my god. Whose name did Rosie call out when she first tasted that blistering hot sauce? Sweet Jesus. <laughs> mm -mm. Stop. No. Okay. Ah. <laughs> oh god. We have to burn that cup. <laughs> but oh. it is. It's like a slow burn. Oh. Jesus. Oh no. That is correct. <laughs> she called upon the name of the Lord to save her from the fiery pits of her mouth. Who's got a good memory? This guy. Good job. All right. Point. Okay. Point. We had our great friend Artie on. He had said he had a favorite Legend of Zelda. Do you remember which one it was, and do you remember why? 
You don't have to answer both. I'm just curious. Um, okay, his favorite Legend of Zelda uh, was probably... Now I'm trying to think of all of them. There are many, so... Mm. Wind Waker. That is incorrect. <laughs> Personally, um, A Link to the Past is my favorite Zelda. Mm. It was a link to the past. I was, that was like in my mind, but I was like, no, that just, that's a newer one or an older one or two. I don't know. If you haven't seen the episode, you should definitely go watch it. Uh, we had him on. They, it was a link to the past because him and Deanna actually connected on, like, because of the music. Yeah. And they played, and they went and saw the show together. Yeah. And, you know, anyways. That was beautiful. Mm. I'm going to get slapped in the face now. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, don't flinch. Oh. <laughs> That's a good sound, a crisp, Mwah. chef's kiss. <laughs> Whose idea was this? So three questions left. One to one. <clears throat> All right. Harkening back to embarrassing magic game ever. The worst, the most embarrassing magic game ever where we played Magic the Gathering while shooting back and forth with embarrassing moments of our lives. Our geek guest, Brother Mishra, uh, drew the question of the worst poop ever. What was the catalyst for his worst poop? <laughs> so I'm gonna get slapped in the face now. Um, <laughs> I'm so glad that's a sentence that Yeah, it's exists. a weird question. It it's a weird question. Just slap me. It's fine. <clears throat> well, I answer it first, though the public needs to know what the catalyst for this poop was. Um, for all of you at home, if you haven't watched the episode, Brother Mishra gets terrible of a poop. Blah, 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 oops. <laughs> terrible Poops in general, whenever he eats. It's, it's hard to pick probably a single one. I'm pretty sure I'm lactose intolerant as well, so it's really just any time I eat, I eat ice cream. You're pretty ice sure? Ice cream is just this point, is a no-go. No sure. Ice cream. Oh, lactose intolerance. We actually connected on that. <sighs> like that you're warming Ready? Up. No. Speaking of connect, Four. this to his face. Oh, <laughs> that was such a good sound. <laughs> this is so fun. Uh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Why are we doing this? I have no idea. In one of our best experiences, mm -hmm. we as a group went to C2E2. Uh, Coming back at you in March. Ray had mentioned that the most excited part of the entire weekend was getting to meet this person. Do you remember who it was? Um, That would be... Her favorite artist, Noah. Can't remember his, your last name. Sorry, guy. Gosh, there's so many awesome things today, but I was really excited. There's this Instagram artist. His name is Noah Eisenman. 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 Uh, because particularly his drawing of all the spider women and the spider heroines with their backs facing them, and they were on a ledge and she had it as her background on her iPhone, and then she saw the artist and she freaked out. And he ha happened to be a spectacularly nice guy. Incredible guy, Noah, you're incredible. Follow him on Instagram if you don't already. You got out of a slap. Noah Heisman. Mm. All right. I can feel it right here, Bernie, ouchie. In one of our most early, highly viewed episodes of the Power Rangers Geek Out Sesh, we were talking about everybody's favorite Power Rangers series. What? was Hayden's favorite Power Ranger series. Mm. Not Mighty Morphin. You have about 50 to choose from. Oh. I learned so much that day. It was a really good day. If you like, if you don't know much about Power Rangers, it, it's surprisingly a deep pool of information. Oh yeah. My gut, I, it, it's not. I know it's not. I think he's better than this. No. Is it Time Force? No. I guess it was Turbo, because I was like, he's better than Turbo. And also, no. Yeah. It would be... Yeah. So the, for you, it would be lost, 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 galaxy. lost Galaxy. Lost Galaxy. Yep. What about you? <laughs> lost Galaxy. Okay, that's... Uh, that was... Particularly, particularly had a lot of great mashups, including the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. It was a really big Fighting series. alongside the, the Power Rangers. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Give it, give it some hot air. Warm it up for me. Warm it up. There you go. You ready for the fans? What's this, slap three? This is three. 
Oh, Ooh. God. That was mm -hmm. weak. No, it got a good jaw. It didn't it sound a good, but it hurt. Push to it the like face. A punch to the face with the knuckles. <laughs> it's with the heel of my hand. Mm. See, the fact he didn't write these down tells me that now he's probably siphoning through the most difficult question he can find. I am. Uh, but comment below, what was one of your favorite moments of the year for us, of all the episodes you've seen? Comment below with one of your favorite moments. Thank you once again for continuing to watch all this year. You guys are our favorite people on the planet. Thanks for geeking out with us each and every week. Hit me with your best shot. What was the third item that I had to feel for in Spider-Sense? You don't remember the third item. Fine, what's the last item? I remember the last item. <laughs> the last I item. The last item. Okay. The last item that you had to feel for. I had to feel for. Knowing me, I would probably ramp up. I, the thing I want to say, I'm feeling Five, like it's not. Four. Was it a portable car potty? Yes. A Stanley steamer? No. Beckham? <laughs> no. Oh god, is this to pee into? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Is this to pee into? Ding, ding, ding! That is a travel car bathroom with a handle. Please tell me that's not been used. <laughs> Well, I can't speak to that. It was actually something my grandpa gave me. <laughs> that was. Ooh, ooh uh, He's only been slept once. I'm the bad fan, apparently. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here's some trivia. It was something a ge geek guest said during our Diet RPGs episode. I believe our third episode ever. Um, it was to lie. And while she was talking about Diet RPGs being like Mice and Mystics, mm -hmm. Star Wars Imperial Assault. She did talk about D&D. &D, and she talked about um, the creator of D&D &D mm -hmm. wanted people to be able to play with pen and paper. What was the name of the creator of D&D? &D? One of the, one of the oh creators of D&D. Oh my god, I'll never remember this, but hey. I'll give you a hint. Oh gosh, yeah. It starts with a G. It's not going to help me. It's not gonna help me. I already smacked uh, Wizards of the West Coast. That's all I know. Uh, so that uh, neither starts with a G. Nope. No. Nor is a person. No, I know it's an organization <laughs> and they did it, but it's fine. Originally, it was. Let's hear from the back. You can play this with one set of dice, your pen, your paper, and your imagination. Mm -hmm. That's how Gary Gygax originally conceived it. Gary Gygax. You would are correct. Have never pulled that from my memory <laughs> bank. That's a problem. Well, you can tell that we have learned quite a lot this year. I haven't, apparently. Thank you so much for tuning in. I got one more question. Hello? <laughs> Try to sleep out of that one. That was nice. Can you do it back? <laughs> no. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> and. Um, can you say the Pledge of Allegiance for me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was it for me. I took four slaps. <laughs> I am weak. I really like slapping people. This is something I learned about myself. 2020, this is going to be Slappy New Year for Bozer. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> oh, this is your last one? It's my last one. Okay. Sansolo gave us information about Anakin Skywalker. Who are his parents? Who are Anakin Skywalker's parents? Shmi. And... Palpatine? The Force? Darth Sidious actually manipulated the Force to create Anakin Skywalker in his mother. That Shmi. is no longer a theory that has been confirmed, as confirmed. Canon in the Marvel comics of Star Wars that is confirmed. Close. That's actually close. I'm not going to slap you because I think you did a good enough job. Uh, Palpatine created them both from sand. Created Shmi? Yeah, they were both created by Palpatine. He told us that, remember? No. <laughs> you know what? Because I don't remember that, I'll take one more slap. Oh, thank you. That's really he just wants to be slapped. I, I do. I have a sickness. Uh, I'm just kidding. Never. I'm gonna look you in the eyes while I have it. Did you ever know that? Uh!
<laughs> I flinched early, and then the he hit hurt even more. It. And now he's learned how to take a slap. All right. Well, <laughs> if you liked this kind of content and you want to see it again, that is unfortunate because it's not going to happen. Until next year. For Slappy New Year! But if you'd like this to be a tradition, make sure you leave a like on this video so we know to keep doing this kind of content. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And we are super excited to go into the next year with all of you. Um, and to keep growing our community. And truly thank you. This is an honest thank you for everybody who powered through that first year with us and took the journey. It was a lot of experimentation and a lot oh, of learning. You're going back and watching some <laughs> of them and it's, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. and it, but the thing it was, it was fun. It was so much fun. So cool. thank you for having fun with us and we can't wait to keep geeking out with you. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, you're just joining us for the most uh, bizarre adventure two guys have ever taken Yeah, on Jill YouTube. Um, so ne until next time, and there will always be a next time, uh, I'm PK. I am Bozer. And you just keep geeking, geeking out. out. Let's go!